I'm going to uh, talk about a surprising way of changing massive destructive weapon into the bringer of hope. We've had, uh, we've had uh, lots of uh, uh, massive disasters in the past few years. Uh, after that, supplies are urged to be delivered to stricken areas. But in front of us are critical issues um, we spend a lot of time to deal with, like topological isolation, lack of fuels, or other reasons uh, that greatly limit the ability of trucks or airplanes to reach those helpless people. People died in isolated areas, mostly not because of the disaster, but because of waiting for supplies to arrive. Complex disasters like a Great East Japan earthquake may occur again and in the near future. That's what I've learned as a Red Cross volunteer. We need revolutionary idea. So let me ask you a question. What is the fastest way from Tokyo to Sumatra? By ships? By airplanes? Well, actually, it's through space. You see, uh, during the Cold War, we built lots of ICBM that can carry warheads to travel great distance to the target very precisely and fast. Arms race between the US and the Soviet Union showed the power we could have to bring destruction to the world. But in the future, there's no more like this. Instead, the economical war, and most of all, war of fighting for saving lives. So what do we do to these missiles? Why not just fill in this uh, obsolete, yet still functional missile rockets with supplies and send them to stricken areas through space, fastly. <laughs> and uh, re-entry capsules, instead of warheads, now with supplies and, oh, yeah, with supplies here, here, and devices or crew, even manned capsule, using parachute or rudders gently descend to the places of distress. I'm showing some examples here. I made some CG here. So uh, those ICBM are not dead waste, but in fact, point-to-point transportation uh, without those obstacles we are struggling to solve. ICBM mode transportation gives potential benefit for increasing uh, mobility and efficiency to rescue team elegantly. ICBM, uh, I mean, uh, you know, they're, they're just, um, I can remember a thing, but <laughs> anyway, we have visible, te we have visible technology. You know, I, my, my heart's like a rocket now. <laughs> we have visible, we have visible technology, adaptable operational systems already. The rest is to put them work together. I believe it's time to, to surpass and to join these two arms together to turn destruction into resurrection. And surely, it will be the shortest way from death to hope. Thank you very much. Thank you.